CEO of COPA. He's with me. It is good to see you, sir. Uh, we saw you, of course, in Istanbul. Uh, but it's good to see you here. Look, um, I, I guess I was reading an interesting article in Kappa, uh, you know, the, um, the, the, the aviation newsletter people, uh, news people, who basically said um, airlines in the Americas are wondering how long can the good times go? When does the demand-driven boost stop? What do you think? Yes, uh, that's, that's what we're all asking ourselves. I mean, one of the biggest surprises from the pandemic was how strong air traffic uh, came back uh, after what we all went through. Uh, and now the question is for how long this is going to last. So we have 63 aircraft on order, MAX 737, Boeing MAX 737, after the 15 addition you mentioned. So that's not 500 or anything like some of the other players. We don't take that kind of risk. And we always have a plan B in case things slow down, which they will may. Right. So if we look at where you're growing, you've added a few new routes into the U.S. and a few elsewhere. I mean, essentially, uh, this is the your, your airline balance is constantly between the point to point to Panama and the sixth freedom over the hub of the Americas. And I'm wondering whether you see any shift in that strategy. Right. So a lot of our competitors are building up their own hubs and, and putting more direct flights. We are still betting on our single hub of the Americas in Panama business model, strengthening the network, adding new cities. And, and in a way, taking advantage of the strength of some markets, like the U.S. market, as you will mention. So we've added, since the pandemic, we added Atlanta. Uh, next week, we're adding Baltimore, Washington. And then a few weeks after that, we're adding Austin in Texas. So it's going to be 14 cities we're serving in the U.S. and also adding spokes in Latin America and the Caribbean. One of the issues, of course, that you have to deal with, I, we're looking at pictures of your latest iteration of, uh, of, of the flatbed in business, but you need a consistency of product across the fleet, which you don't currently fully have. That has to be a priority, doesn't it? It, it is. Uh, you're right. I don't know how you figure that one out, but, but you're totally correct. So we have the flat beds on the MAX 9s on our dreams business class. We use that for the, our longer, longer routes. We fly some of the longer 737 and narrow body routes like Panama, San Francisco, Panama, Buenos Aires. So we use the flat beds for that. The rest of the fleet will have a standard product. That's not the case today, but it will happen in the coming year and a half or so. And when you, buy, when you do your fleet, you've done you, the fleet renewal so far, how tempting is it to add bigger planes? How tempting is it to, 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 to put in some larger aircraft to, to boost capacity? Yeah, we, we, have a, we have like a glass box in our office <laughs> with a, with a loaded, loaded gun, and it says, break only if Copa decides to buy white bodies. You've answered the question there, sir. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Always good to see you. Thank you. Same here, Richard.